Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand spanking new 2021 Honda Ridgeline HPD. And today, I'm gonna review it for you guys. You know, especially with this refreshed design, I think the Honda Ridgeline is a more capable and competent competitor, there's something that's hard to say three times fast, in the midsize truck segment than it ever has been before. But it got me wondering, why hasn't it been in the past? And I think I've deduced why. Up until now, the Ridgeline has been kind of predictable and run-of-the-mill. Like your favorite TV show that's normally very well grounded in reality, but by the fourth or fifth season, they're running out of ideas, and so instead of canceling the show, they decide, we're gonna do a ghost episode! Anyway, that's what I think about when I think of uh, run-of-the-mill and predictable. I'm sure that's what you guys were thinking too. Oh yeah, the truck review. Yeah, let's do the truck review. Before we begin, I want to thank Phillipsburg Easton Honda for allowing me to review this vehicle. For all your Honda needs, you can visit them in person in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, or at their website, pehonda.com. Starting out up front on this new Ridgeline, here's where we're going to see the most changes on this new mid-cycle refresh. New grille, new headlights, really overall this whole thing has been changed to look a lot more aggressive and truck-like. I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. It looks a lot better than the Honda Pilot-esque front fascia we got on the previous years of this body style of the Ridgeline. And it kind of harkens back to the first generation a little bit. I think that they did an excellent job overall in this design. It finally looks like a really aggressive pickup truck, especially in this HPD configuration. Moving to the headlights, you'll have LED headlights, incandescent high beams, LED daytime running lights, and fog lights and then you'll also get incandescent turn signals. In the Honda badge, you'll have Honda's Safety Sense technology integrated into there, so that's really nice. And overall, just, oh, it looks so much more aggressive. Let's move under the hood. Moving underneath the hood in the Ridgeline, it is powered by a 3.5 liter V6, making 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. That is paired to a nine-speed automatic transmission. Moving on to the profile of this Ridgeline, here we're gonna see some other minor changes for the 2021 model year, mainly due to the Honda Performance Division trim that this is. But starting with the wheels, you'll get 245 60R tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels. I really like the gold color choice. Not a lot of manufacturers go with gold wheels from the factory, so it's really cool to see that Honda did. I think that's a very unique uh, design choice and I think that it contrasts really well against this black color. I believe they unveiled this in silver with the gold wheels and I don't know how I feel about that but against black I really think that these wheels go really well together. You also have these giant fender flares right here adding to the uh, off-road styling of this Ridgeline. You'll have a black plastic body colored mirror cap and then this does have keyless entry so if you have the key in your pocket you tap that it'll lock the door then all you have to do is put your hand behind there and it will sense you have the key and it will open automatically the last thing i want to touch upon on the profile is you do get a big hpd honda performance development sticker uh, on the back with a gold strip through it moving to the back of the ridge line this is where it shines in a couple of different areas so let's say you have a bunch of stuff in your hands you can open up your tailgate which unfortunately isn't dampened, but you can put your stuff in and then close it back up. But if you want to get a little bit closer to the bed, if the stuff is really heavy, there's actually a handle down here and it opens up barn door style, which is not something you're gonna see on its competitors, but we're not done yet. There is a lock right here with a handle. If you tap that, that is not only going to give you access to your spare tire, but additionally, a gigantic cubby with a drain plug. So if you wanted to put drinks with ice in there, you could do that for tailgating. And there's an optional speaker back here. So if you want to listen from the vehicle, um, you can play your music through and it's actually going to come out of the speaker in the bed. So this is really the perfect tailgating vehicle. And it shows the attention and care that Honda gave to this when designing the Ridgeline overall. I think when they were designing the, the bed and the specifications, they really went all out. Now you do sacrifice a little bit of depth. There's trade-offs, give and take. 
closing the bed up here, you'll have a backup camera, the Ridgeline badge, your HPD badge for this trim, and sport all-wheel drive. Below that, you'll have dual exhaust in an area that it actually falters in quite a bit is its towing capacity. It's only rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds. Now, its payload capacity is almost 1,600 pounds, which isn't terrible. That's about in line with the segment of mid-sized trucks for their payload capacity. But the Ridgeline can't tow that much. It can tow, but just not bigger things, you know, compared to uh, something like a Tacoma or a Colorado. But not everybody's going to need that. Some people are just going to use this as their daily driver runner and they'll throw mulch in the back or logs or any number of things when they need it and they're not going to be using this really hard. But some people are also looking for something that tows and so I had to make you aware of that specific feature. Hopefully in the future Honda makes a bigger engine available um, and, and retunes it that it can tow uh, a little bit better. Overall though, it, it's not the worst thing in the world, just something to consider if you're looking at a Ridgeline. Before we fully move into the interior, I just wanted to touch upon the key fob really quick. In addition to lock, unlock, and panic, this is also equipped with remote start. Moving to the interior of the Ridgeline, it remains largely unchanged in here from the previous years that I've reviewed, but let's go over everything anyway and I'll show you some of the new features. Starting with the door panel, it is a really nice texture along here, very easy to rest your arm on. Your windows are going to be one touch down, one touch up for the front two lock, unlock, and your uh, child window lock if people start getting annoying. Down here you'll have your fuel opener and then the hood opener right there. You'll have your settings for the safety sense features right here, uh, lane departure warning, stuff like that, your cargo lamp, your power mirror controls, and your economy mode button. And then in the gauge cluster here, very interestingly, you're going to get your speedometer up here digitally, no physical speedometer, but you will get a physical tachometer. And then you'll have your engine and your oil temp and everything like that. And then a small screen in the center, which is of course controlled by your steering wheel, oil life, tire pressure, you know, the basics you'd get from that. And then additionally on the steering wheel, you'll get um, your controls Additionally for like radar guided cruise control and then your volume and stuff for the radio and all that good stuff and Bluetooth Interestingly, this does have paddle shifters on it, which I think is a pretty nif nifty feature And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this there is actually a driver side grab handle up here It's just not in the traditional place uh, Where it would normally be on other trucks. There is not a passenger side one either uh, except that one up there. So it will get a pass on my driver's side grab handle test because it does technically have one. Moving down here, it is of course push button start. I really like the texture of this kind of chrome piece right there. It's pretty nice. And then you'll have your climate controls right there. Above here, you'll get a brand new touch screen. Very responsive and this is one of the new features. They've added a volume knob like an actual dial which is amazing the previous one you had to hit up and down and everybody hated that as you can see this ridge line is so new the sticker hasn't even been removed from the screen but i will let the future purchaser of this ridge line have the honor of being able to peel that because that is so much fun to do moving down here you'll have power outlets and your usb connection for the apple carplay that this head unit is equipped with and then moving down here, I touched upon this last Honda Ridgeline review. Very interesting on here. This is your shifter. So you press for park, you pull for reverse, and that's going to bring up your backup camera with a couple of different uh, zoom points and everything like that, which is very interesting. And then neutral is another press, and drive is also another press. And it's going to tell you up here in your center screen what mode you're in. Right here, you have modes, so you have normal, snow, mud, sand, um, so you can basically do all your traction management through here. And then you'll also have your automatic engine start stop feature if you wanna enable or disable that. So if you come to a stoplight, it'll turn the engine off automatically to preserve fuel 
and then you just hit the gas and it'll start going again. Overall though, the interior is very well appointed. These seats are really nice. I like the texture, despite them being cloth, they are very finely textured and they're very comfortable. They are manual seats, which is a tiny bit disappointing, but not the worst thing in the world. And then you'll have sunglass holder up here and your dome lights. Before we fully move to the back, I just wanted to touch upon the storage space in here. There is a little cubby that is very deep and you can take this out and uh, get a little bit more room if you want uh, in there. And then that slides back and forth. You also get um, a 12 volt outlet and another USB down there. So overall, this HPD is very well equipped and it's very roomy. I think this is one, it's hard to come across on the camera, but I think this is one of the roomiest trucks in the midsize segment. Moving to the back, it's fairly roomy back here for a midsize truck. You do get vents and a little storage space. It looks like a happy face. It's so cute back there. Actually, you get an additional one down there as well. But the reason I'm out here is I want to show you, you can lift up the seats. There is a pull and that is going to fold these seats up and lock them into position. Very interesting. I've never seen it like this on a midsize or a full size truck. They have these bars that come out and they lock into place down here, I guess for better stability, but you do have a flush load floor down here, which is really nice. And when you pull this down, if we go down with it, see it all pops into place and it locks really securely. So if we step in here, you do have a fold down armrest with two cup holders as well. And the door panels are just as nicely appointed as a front, very nice leather on there. So moving to the driving segment, I'm gonna give you guys a very brief driving impression of the Ridgeline. As this is so new, I don't wanna to put too many miles on it right away. They just got it in. You can see they still have the plastic on the seats. But this really handles like my mom's Honda Pilot. She's a newer pilot and that's not a bad thing. I actually really like that this is so smooth. You know, it looks very trucky, but it probably has the best ride on the market, if we're being honest. Um, and I've driven quite a lot of pickup trucks. It's very smooth and it handles very gracefully, which I think is excellent and not something you get a lot of the time from its competitors. As I said, you, you weigh stuff. You kind of do checks and balances. Is this uh, what I'm looking for in this area or do I really need this thing? The good news is the market is so strong right now. There's a pickup truck for anybody and I think the Ridgeline definitely fits the bill for a lot of people. My last Ridgeline video exploded. I had no idea how many people loved the Ridgeline and were so positive towards it. And you know, I had wrongfully made fun of it a lot and teased it and said it was dumb, but that's because I didn't really know anything about it. And now that I've done two reviews on Ridgelines and I know so much more about them uh, and have a better knowledge and understanding of uh, how capable and the cool features that they have, I'm much more impressed by them. I think that the Ridgeline is an absolutely viable pickup truck despite its towing discrepancies and uh, it not having some of the features that other trucks have. It makes up for that in other areas. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to conclude my review for this Ridgeline. I really hope you learned something informative or that I at least made you laugh or smile with a joke. I am a Christian, so if you have any prayer requests, you can leave those in the comment section below. I also like to do a weekly Bible verse, and I'm studying to be a youth pastor, so I do a fair amount of memorization. My memorization for this week is Deuteronomy 11:18. You shall therefore lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. Remember, no matter what vehicle you have, I hope it lasts you a long time and it serves you well. Thanks for watching. Take care.